Recently, 13 lucky Home Channel viewers won a 20,000 Rand paint renovation by Prominent Paints. In this series, we'll introduce you to the lucky winners and show you how we fix their paint disasters. We'll also give you valuable advice on how you can fix your paint disaster at home. Hi again and welcome to Make It Better with Prominent Paints. I'm Sam Marshall and today we're in Florida Park at the home of Warren Swartz. Now Warren's got a problem with the exterior walls of his home. Let's go in and see how we can make it better. Okay, Warren, so tell me, what is the problem with this wall? About three years ago, we painted our walls and we just seem to have a constant peeling, paint peeling from the concrete that just doesn't seem to stick. Now, this looks to me like a brand new coat of paint and basically what it's doing, it's adhering to the previous coat that is no longer sticking to the primer, the original primer you placed on the wall. And I think it's mainly due to the fact that the primer has reached the end of its lifespan. So what we're gonna have to do do is strip this wall completely, start afresh brand new, we'll look at issues of like waterproofing and we'll open up the cracks where need be. Uh, and I promise you, we will repair this wall. Does that sound good? Sounds like a great plan. Sam. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need to fix this problem. A high pressure water hose with minimum specifications of 200 kPa operating pressure and a rotating nozzle, protective goggles for when operating high pressure hose, good quality paint scrapers, a decent pair of gloves, P40 sandpaper, some prominent damp cure, which is a moisture tolerant primer, Pro Gold mineral turpentine to clean our painting tools, Pro Gold ready mix for minor plaster repairs, two coats of premium textured top coat, a ladder, a medium pile roller, remember to wash before you use for the first time, a 75 millimeter paint brush and some drop sheets so we don't make a mess. Right, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is to remove the old worn out paint. Now because of the multiple layers, I suggest we remove it with a paint scraper. It should just come off. After the scraping is done, we'll use a high pressured hose with a rotating nozzle. Now that will take care of all the remaining paint, but also the contamination, and effectively will do very little damage to the plaster of your wall. Well, we achieved the sound surface and it's ready for priming, but it's wet at the moment. So we're gonna leave it overnight to dry out. This is a very important step, don't skip it, or else you'll have to repeat this entire process all over again. It's been 24 hours and the wall is completely dry. Now, before you start painting again, make sure that you check with the local weather service to make sure that your weather conditions are dry for at least the next 24 hours. Your first painting step is to apply a complete coat of prominent damp cure. You'll get around four to five square meters per liter. Cut around the edges first with a brush and then fill in the middle with your medium pile roller using an end motion. Once the damp cure has dried, minor plaster imperfections can be corrected by using a Pro Gold ready mix filler. First mix the filler to a smooth butter consistency. Use a small scraper to fill small holes. While it's still wet, dab with a brush to match the texture of the walls. Once this is dried, sand down and then spot prime all the fixed areas with the same damp cure you used previously. Leave everything to completely dry before moving on to applying the final two layers of premium textured paint to complete the paint system. Apply two coats at four to five square meters per liter using the same application method used to apply the primer. First cut along the edges with a brush and then fill in everything with a roller. Allow the paint to completely dry for four hours between coats. Adhering to the recoating times will ensure that maximum application results are obtained in the two coat process. Mm -hmm. 
Warren, what do you think of your brand new wall? I'm sure the neighbors must be jealous. It definitely came out great, Sam. Now, as you can remember, that there used to be uh, imperfections in the plaster, very minor though, but we covered it up with a premium textured paint and I'm sure you'll agree it looks stunning. Yeah, we did a good job. I think the job looks great. Awesome. Now, for any of you doing this project at home, remember that 70% of your time has to be spent on preparation. The performance of your paint is directly related to the solidity of the underlying foundation paint. So don't skip any of the processes and your top coat should last for years. From me and the team, goodbye.